Hi dears, this is Raji. In this video, we are going to start with a new chapter, Nitric Acid. This is a very important chapter and you will be getting a lot of questions related to this chapter for your board exams also. So we are going to divide this chapter into small small portions and we will be discussing the important topics related to this chapter and immediately we will be solving a lot of board questions also. So that it's going to be so easy for you. Okay, tell me what do you know about nitric acid? Nitric acid is a highly corrosive acid. What is the formula of nitric acid? That is HNO3. If we consider a dilute solution of nitric acid, one molecule of nitric acid in that solution can produce one H plus ion. Right now, because of the same reason, nitric acid is also known as monobasic acid, we will say. If an acid is producing 2 H plus ion, we will call it as a dibasic acid. Okay, yeah. Three are the tribasic acid. But nitric acid can produce only 1 H plus ion yeah, per molecule. That is the reason we call it as a monobasic acid. That concept also you can remember. Now think about, is it possible to see nitric acid somewhere naturally? Yes, it is possible. We know that plenty of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere. Plenty of oxygen is also present in the atmosphere. But they won't react with each other. What is the reason? For this reaction to take place, a high temperature is required. So this much temperature will be produced at the time of thunderbolt. And at that temperature, the nitrogen and oxygen which is present in the atmosphere will react together to form nitric oxide. Nitric oxide formed will be readily combining with oxygen to form nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide will be combining with oxygen and water to form yeah, nitric acid. Got it? Yeah, this nitric acid produced, okay, as it is uh, soluble in water, it will be directly coming down to the soil in the form of rain and we call it as acid rain. Okay, yeah. So remember, plenty of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere. That is not useful for plants, right? No, it can't absorb that atmospheric nitrogen directly. So by this process, what will happen? The nitrogen that is present in the atmosphere will be getting converted into nitric acid. Once this nitric acid is reaching the soil, what will happen? It will be combining with so many substances which are present in the soil and will be converted into nitrates. Okay, yeah, these nitrates will be easily absorbed by the plants and these nitrates are nutrients for the plants. Okay, and the whole process we call it as nitrogen fixation. In addition to that, you will have to remember one more point. Nitric acid can be seen in the combined form as nitrate. Sodium nitrate, calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, etc. And the sodium nitrate has got a particular name. What is that? It is also known as chili salt peter. Why? Because this salt was plenty in Chile and Peru. You can remember. Okay. And then nitre. Nitre is the another name of potassium nitrate. So, these names of sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate also you should memorize. Sometimes you can see that in questions. Got it? Now, let's learn the laboratory preparation of nitric acid. In order to prepare nitric acid in the laboratory, we need to have an apparatus called glass retort. What is so special about glass retort? It is entirely made up of glass. To this glass retort, we are adding potassium nitrate. Remember, potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate also can be used for this purpose. Both are white colored solid substances. Yeah. To that, again we need to add concentrated sulfuric acid also. Then we will have to heat the reaction mixture. Then what will happen? Right and see, we have potassium nitrate with us. To that, we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid. We are heating the reaction mixture below 200 degrees Celsius. Then what will happen? You will be getting potassium bisulfate. Along with that, nitric acid also will be produced. But remember, the reaction mixture is at a high temperature. At that temperature, nitric acid will not be there in the liquid state. It will be easily converted into vapor state. Okay, yeah. And this uh, vapors of nitric acid, we will be condensing so that 
it concentrated nitric acid you will be getting in the liquid state related to this they will be asking a lot of questions so write along with me what is the first question we are specifically telling the temperature of the reaction mixture should be below 200 degrees celsius so they will ask you what will happen when the reaction mixture is heated above 200 degrees celsius so instead of potassium bisulfate you will be getting potassium sulfate that is a hard crust of mass and it will be going and sticking to the glass apparatus and it is difficult to remove that and again uh, it will be consuming a lot of fuel and sometimes it can break the glass apparatus also you can tell like that okay now what is the second question in order to prepare nitric acid we are using concentrated sulfuric acid correct yeah so the question is that why we are using concentrated sulfuric acid why can't we use concentrated hydrochloric acid they will ask you so what will be the answer you can tell that concentrated hydrochloric acid is a highly volatile acid that means if you are heating the mixture to 200 degrees celsius what will happen this uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid also will be vaporizing okay so what will happen along with the vapors of nitric acid you can find the vapors of concentrated hydrochloric acid also that is the reason we are not using uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid for the preparation of nitric acid you can tell so one more question they will be asking you what is so special about the apparatus when we are preparing nitric acid in the laboratory you can tell that the entire apparatus is made up of glass and that is known as a glass retort why why it is entirely made up of glass you can tell that nitric acid vapors are highly corrosive in nature so if you are using a rubber or cork stopper in the apparatus yeah nitric acid vapors can corrode that okay so that is the reason the entire apparatus is made up of glass and that is known as a glass retort you can tell got it so we prepared nitric acid in the laboratory now the question is that what is the color of nitric acid nitric acid in its pure form it is a colorless liquid but when it is exposed to sunlight for a long time it will be undergoing decomposition reaction to form nitrogen dioxide water and little bit of oxygen now what is the color of nitrogen dioxide gas yeah it has got a reddish brown color this reddish brown colored gas nitrogen dioxide will be dissolving in the same acid okay as a result of that yeah the acid will be appearing yellow after some time the question they ask is that why nitric acid is stored in uh, dark colored bottles what is the answer yeah nitric acid is a colorless substance actually it will undergo decomposition reaction to form nitrogen dioxide that will be a reddish brown gas when the same gas is dissolved in the liquid it will be appearing yellow you can tell got it in order to balance this equation there is an easy method first correct hydrogen here it is 2 and here i am putting a 2 so nitrogen has become 2 and here also i am putting a 2 hydrogen and nitrogen has become correct now count for oxygen on the left hand side this is 6 and here oxygen is becoming 7 count and see it's going to trouble you a lot so i am putting a half in front of o2 so what will happen yeah see half into two oxygen atom that will be equal to one only right yeah now oxygen on the right hand side also it became six right but this kind of fraction we won't be using a balanced chemical equation so that the entire equation should be multiplied by two okay yeah. so write it one more time 4 hno3 will be giving you 4 no2 plus 2 h2o plus o2 easy no in so many places you will be getting the same equation so you can just memorize and easily balance it got it now see this question i have snipped this question from a board paper and uh, it is related to the laboratory preparation of nitric acid you can just read the question they are asking name the liquid a which is that liquid that is present inside the glass retort yeah that is nothing but concentrated h2so4 you should write which is that solid b yeah it can be either potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate you can write so which is that liquid c c is nothing but concentrated nitric acid you should write write an equation to show how nitric acid undergoes decomposition reaction 
yeah so that also we have discussed in the previous page if nitric acid is exposed to sunlight for a long time it will be undergoing decomposition reaction to form nitrogen dioxide water and oxygen also which is a easy method to balance the chemical equation also we discussed okay yeah so you can just try that by yourself okay now see this question all these are board question yeah it is related to the laboratory preparation of nitric acid they are asking two compounds that are used for the preparation of nitric acid in the laboratory what's your answer yeah you can write concentrated h2so4 and then yeah either potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate you can write then write the balanced chemical equation for the laboratory preparation of nitric acid from the above mentioned compounds so uh, this time you can write sodium nitrate NaNO3 and concentrated H2SO4 you are heating the mixture below 200 degrees celsius you should specify that also what will be the product of the reaction you will be getting sodium bisulfate and then nitric acid you should write easy no we don't want to balance the equation it is self balanced c next one what is a special feature of the apparatus used for the preparation of nitric acid in the laboratory the entire apparatus should be made up of glass and that apparatus is known as glass retort what's the reason nitric acid vapors are highly corrosive you should write okay if you are using yeah rubber or cork stopper it can corrode that okay yeah, that's enough during the laboratory preparation of nitric acid why the reaction mixture is not heated beyond 200 degrees celsius we discussed that also if the reaction mixture is heated above 200 degrees celsius yeah you will be getting sodium sulfate and that will go and stick to the glass apparatus right now now see the last question what do you observe when nitric acid is kept in the reagent bottle for a long time for this kind of questions we are not supposed to write the balanced chemical equation they are asking what is your observation so what can you write yeah you can say that nitric acid is a colorless liquid after some time what will happen it will be undergoing decomposition reaction and will be turning into yellow in color it's a one mark question no so whatever we have written is more than enough okay yeah we have have discussed yeah, each and every point related to the laboratory preparation of nitric acid yeah and we have discussed so many board questions also i'm sure it will be helping you a lot keep on working hard see you in the next video thanks for watching